me Someday I would buy Galleys with good oars And sails to distant shores Stand up high in the crowd For a moment, put aside your fear. Think back to who you were on that first day at the Capitol. You felt the sense of history, patriotism, the majesty of a sacred place, the knowledge that you could make history. Now, your legacy is on the line. You know Trump's mob seized the Capitol on his orders, a violent insurrection to hold power. You were saved from assault and death only by providence. You know the blood Trump's mob spilled that day will be on your hands, souls, and legacies if you fail to act. Your defenses of Trump are hollow, cynical, and desperate. We know you're afraid. The vote will be the hardest and most important of your life. Convict Trump. Save America. America is watching. Hello. And welcome to the People's Third Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of February 9th, 2020. Today marks the beginning of uh, former President Trump's impeachment trial. Today, the Senate confirmed 56 to 44 that it does have enough jurisdiction under the Constitution to hold former President Trump for impeachment, uh, impeachment trial for his uh, incitement of the insurrection on January 6th. Now, as far as the stimulus goes, it looks like the um, they kept the current income limits for the fourteen hundred dollars stimulus checks that they had in CARES Act, stating that they had you could make seventy five hundred dollars, sorry, seventy five thousand dollars for a single individual, and one hundred fifty thousand dollars for a married income to require qualify for the fourteen hundred dollars stimulus checks. So they have been hearing from Congress that the upper income taxpayers will not receive a stimulus check. So basically they're saying that if you make up to $100,000 for a single person, you will not get a stimulus check. And if you make up to $200,000 for a joint filer, you will not get a stimulus check as well. And the government did a study and found out that raising the minimum wage to $15 an hour would make a, the economy lose a net worth of 1.4 million jobs. Yesterday, Congress Budget Committee, they found out that raising the minimum wage to $15 an hour by 2025 would add $54 billion to the national deficit over a 10-year period. They also concluded that it would lift 900,000 people out of poverty but the trade-off would be a net job loss of, like I said, 1.4 million jobs. Um, Bernie Sanders was happy with the Budget Committee's findings because it created a direct link between the minimum wage increase and the federal budget. By there being a direct link, Sanders believes the federal wage increase qualifies for the reconciliation budget which means that it could be added to the current stimulus package. So let's see what happens with that. I mean, we do have, like I said, we do have you know, Joe Manchin that believes that it'd be a good idea just to raise the minimum wage up to eleven dollars an hour. And I've already done the math on it. And if if you take eighty times seven twenty five, which is our current minimum wage, and then you times that by two and minus taxes, there is no way someone's going to be living off eight hundred dollars a month. Minimum wage at seven twenty-five an hour, and even at eleven dollars an hour, that's still a massive stretch. But let's see what happens with the Congress. And as far as Donald Trump's impeachment trials goes, I will keep you guys informed on what's going on there as well. So far, it looks like the defense for Donald Trump is not really making a good enough case for him. But we will find out tomorrow as they go on to the sixteen-hour. Uh, question and answer version of the trial for Donald Trump. Each Republican and Democrat committees get 16 hours each to basically grill him before they take a vote on whether they're going to impeach him or not. But a study does show that most likely chance that Donald Trump will not be impeached. He will be acquitted. But we do believe the Democrats have a ace up their sleeve to make it so even if he gets acquitted, 
that he will not be able to run for a public office ever again. So hopefully, if that is the case, then hopefully he'll never run for public office again because I know from personal experience, I've watched him during this whole pandemic and he really did a terrible job. Although Republicans will say, oh, he, he didn't tell the public because he didn't want to cause a widespread panic in the United States. Republicans are coming up with excuses for Donald Trump and he's not coming up with excuses for himself. But that's just my supposition on the whole topic of uh, impeaching Donald Trump. Hopefully they do impeach him. They said if they don't, hopefully Democrats use their ace in the hole and make it so he can make run for public office again. But until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. And I will broadcast again to you tomorrow or the next day with more information on impeachment and stimulus. But until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening.